Howdy, I'm Jake Bell at the Glacier Hip Camp in Montana and I wanted to throw in my two cents on the everlasting debate of front snowblower versus rear snowblower. Um, since I have both, um, I feel authorized to give an opinion on this matter. about the advantages of front versus rear snowblowers. The first factor, and if this is the factor that determines it all, then you don't need the rest of the information, would be cost. So from a cost perspective, if it's all about the budget and getting a snowblower and being cheap, then you want a used three-point rear snowblower. It's that simple because they are much cheaper. Uh, both the snowblowers behind me were used. The front snowblower was four times the cost of the rear snowblower. So there's not much of a competition there. Now, going forward from that, if one is actually so much more expensive than the other, why would you ever buy a front snowblower? Well, if you've owned a tractor for a while, whether it's any kind of use, you've probably experienced what I like to call tractor neck. Um, I spent 10 years before I got the front snowblower backing up on a geared tractor with a snowblower on the back and it is not the most pleasant experience it, it is very hard on your body um, if you have 200 feet of driveway 300 feet of driveway um, that that doesn't impress me just buy a rear snowblower or a plow that's not enough area to merit something like this big front end snowblower. Um, I hear at the Glacier Hip Camp, just for my place uh, and my parents' place, I, I snow blow about 3,000 feet of road and five parking lots. Um, so if we get a big snow, I might be in the tractor for four to five hours. Uh, four to five hours is, is a long time to be driving backwards with your neck turned around to the side. So not only is a front snowblower more comfortable, more ergonomic to use, in my experience, if, you, if you're tracking a straight line, then it actually plows a better edge too. Um, the three point um, is more inclined to wobble left and right. Um, the snowblower moves around, it gets kicked left and right. Uh, which is advantageous. It keeps things from breaking, but if you want to cut nice straight lines down the side of your road, the front snowblower cuts cleaner lines. However, when you're backing up, the rear snowblower, in my opinion, like I have one area where I plow around a circle, around, around a circle. If I'm going around the circle blowing snow into the middle on a mound, the rear snowblower works way better when going around a curve. The tractor does an easier job of turning the snowblower. Not only is the, the rear snowblower lighter, but you effectively have like rear wheel steer, which turns the tractor better. And you're not losing the effect of the weight because you're still holding up what's over the steer axle. On the front blower, you set down the weight that's on the front end so you don't have as much traction in your steer tires to turn. So a rear snowblower is nicer when you're trying to like say go around a circle and blow everything into a big pile in the middle. I will say something for going forward and back, forward and back. The rear snowblower, if you have a bucket, snow pusher, blade, something on the front, then going back and forth, you can work your snow plowing both directions and you're not wasting the time of backing up. Needless to say, between these two machines, if I plow a parking lot, if I plow it with this one with a bucket and the snow blower, and I plow the same thing with just the snow blower in the front, I'm actually still faster with the one with the front snow blower because the engine's running better in this one and the snow blower is a foot wider and it makes that much difference, that percentage of area. This has a seven foot on the front. This has a six footer on the rear. They're both, this is a 50 horse tractor. 
This is a 47 horse tractor, uh, but the engine in the Coyote is more healthy. So I would say it's more like a 50 versus a 40 horse tractor. So if the money's not a factor, why, you ask, why would you ever go with a rear snowblower? Uh, if the front one's more comfortable, it actually probably is a little faster, that kind of thing. Why would you go with a rear snowblower? Uh, that's a pretty easy answer. This tractor tends to hang out at, like, job sites at work. Um, so it's doing multiple tasks. It also is in areas where there might be debris in the snow, like a 2 by 4 or whatever it may be. The snowblower doesn't do great when it sucks things into it, like a chunk of rebar. Um, so this one, we can plow, we can put the forklifts on it, we can unload lumber, we can move, move material, and if snow needs to be blown out of the way, the snowblower is right there. It, it's an awesome counterweight, so the forklift works great in the wintertime while the forklift's on the front, because the snowblower just sitting on the back is a great counterweight. So even if you're going to plow most of your snow with a front blade, I'd still say almost throw a snowblower on the back. Buy a cheap one on Craigslist and throw it on the back all winter um, because snowblowers are so nice compared to plows for a couple of reasons. First off, what they leave behind is so much prettier. You don't have these huge dirty berms. You don't have all this buildup next to the road or the parking lot area that's going to melt and turn water right back into runoff on your plowed area. The snowblower gets that material further out and it looks more natural and smooth and prettier. One thing I would like to add, uh, and this isn't front versus rear snowblower, this is actually tires because this is a big difference on these two tractors. One has R for um, like kind of construction-y style tires that are super tough and great for job sites and can take one hell of a beating. The other one has turf tires. So it's more of the lawn tractor, that kind of thing. However, on snow, the turf tires are incredibly better. On ice, the turf tires are incredibly better. The R4 tires... I just can't get the traction out of them. This hill right over here, um, when it's iced in the winter, I cannot plow up it with the R4 tire tractor. I can barely even drive up it with the R4 tractor. I can when I have chains on it, but I can't without. Now, that same hill with the turf tires, I can drive right up that hill while running the front snowblower. I can't have the front snowblower all the way down. I have to have it picked up a little bit, so I'm carrying the weight of it. But it still will walk right up that hill when the R4 tires won't. So if your main game plan and your main desire is dealing with snow, making things beautiful, being comfortable, cab tractor, front snowblower, turf tires, all the way. If you have multiple uses, and you're doing other chores and other tasks, you need to move hay, or you're gonna be in an area that might have rocks, or trash, or that kind of thing, then the rear snowblower with the loader still on the front makes a lot more sense. Now, th this front snowblower is a big front snowblower. This isn't your Johnny homeowner front snowblower that you see on like what I'd call a yard tractor um, that has a midpoint PTO. Uh, these tractors do not have midpoint PTOs. I think, and I it might be wrong, you guys can comment. I, I'd say the biggest tractor you can get with a midpoint three, midpoint PTO is about a, a 30, maybe 35 horsepower tractor. I don't think anybody's making a midpoint PTO in a 50 horsepower tractor. So that means that this is a complicated snowblower. It's a full drive over snowblower. So the front snowblower is also severely compromising the ground clearance. Um, everything seems to get cleared great by the snowblower. This is never a problem for me when blowing, but that ground clearance is an issue. Uh, my main trailer for moving stuff is a dump trailer with ramps and I cannot drive this tractor into the dump trailer. 
it can't lift the snowblower up high enough to make the angle, that kind of thing. So if you're loading your tractor, going to be trailing in your tractor, then front snowblowers I think are not necessarily the best option unless you have a tilt trailer that's low to the ground because the rear snowblower can lift up much, much higher off the ground and can the loader. So that makes the rear snowblower able to charge off through the snow, through the mud, keep the ground clearance. Um, so it's just better for harsher situations. So again, comfortable gentleman tractor on the acreage where everything's manicured front snowblower at the job site or out in the muck in the field rear snowblower okay there it is that's my take on front blower versus rear blower um, i'd love to hear what you guys think uh, anything you think i left out or reasons you think i'm wrong um, why you prefer one over the other go ahead and Type it up in the comments. And in the meantime, please subscribe so I can keep content coming your way. And if you're ever in Montana and you're looking for a place to camp, come visit us at the Glacier Hip Camp.